sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, welcome to reflect the gospel of the Pentecost Sunday in year C. This Sunday we are reflecting from the gospel of John chapter 20 verses 19 to 23. The Greek word Pentecost means 50. 50 days after Easter we are celebrating the Feast of Pentecost. In the Old Testament, we read 50 days after Exodus, Moses received the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. In our first reading of this Sunday from Acts of the Apostles, we read 50 days after Easter, the Apostles received Holy Spirit. Jesus had already promised them the Holy Spirit. He had asked them to stay and pray for the Holy Spirit. They were together praying and they received Holy Spirit. Before receiving Holy Spirit, the apostles were scared of Jews. They were afraid. They were timid. Now, on the Pentecost day, Holy Spirit came upon them and they became courageous. They were filled with Holy Spirit and they received the gift of tongue. And all the people who were gathered there from different nations understood them in their own languages. And the apostles became powerful witness of Jesus Christ. And they proclaimed the good news throughout the world. Pentecost is the birthday of the church. It is the feast of Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, the third person in the Holy Trinity, came upon the apostles and reminded them all that Jesus taught them. As Jesus himself had taught, told the apostles, when the Holy Spirit will come upon you, he will remind you what I have taught you. Holy Spirit is the advocate, the paraclete. And Holy Spirit came upon the apostles and made them the courageous witness of the gospel. Sisters and brothers, all of us, we have received the Holy Spirit in the sacrament of baptism and confirmation. The Holy Spirit is in each one of us. Very often, we may not be aware of the presence of the Holy Spirit in us. The apostles too, as we read in the gospel, received Holy Spirit when Jesus appeared to them after resurrection, he breathed on them and he said, receive the Holy Spirit. But they became more aware of the Holy Spirit, that they have received the Holy Spirit on Pentecost Day. Let us be also aware that Holy Spirit is in us. Holy Spirit helps us to remember what Jesus has taught us. Holy Spirit gives us courage to witness Jesus Christ in our day-to-day -day life. Holy Spirit strengthens us to proclaim the good news throughout the world. Holy, the, the Pentecost was celebrated in the beginning as a harvest festival. It was the harvest festival in the spring, the first fruits. The church experienced the presence of the Holy Spirit as the first fruit. And we see the apostles received Holy Spirit as the first fruit. Let us receive Holy Spirit. Let us be aware that there are different gifts as St. Paul tells us in the second reading, the first Letter to Corinthians, he tells us that there are different gifts that Holy Spirit gives. And this gift is present in the church. And we read throughout the New Testament that the different gifts that Holy Spirit has bestowed in the early church. And the Holy Spirit continue to renew the church. And let us pray on this Pentecost Sunday that the Holy Spirit will also renew each and every one of us. Lord Holy Spirit, come 
and enkindle in us the fire. Make us powerful witness of Jesus Christ. Give us the courage to proclaim the good news throughout the world. Sisters and brothers, be sharers of the word of God by sharing this video to one or two of your friends. I wish you all a happy feast of Pentecost. God bless you.